So I was excited to do this class because it was on a topic I was interested in. And the teacher was pretty chill. She would talk to us like we were friends and we discussed many different types of topics that made the class very interactive. We even watched a couple of our own YouTube videos, specifically the, the basketball 1v1s. Those are, those are bangers if we're being honest here. But I soon learned that she would talk about different topics that didn't necessarily relate to the lessons she was supposed to be teaching. So we were supposed to have a class about 18 weeks and she had different topics we were supposed to discuss each week. And mind y'all, we did not have a textbook, so we could not do readings at all. And we, she didn't even assign different chapters to read at all. So we did not have, and we also did not have a syllabus that showed us what assignments we had in the future or any readings that we had to do. So basically we were in the dark for the entire semester. And many kids in my class tried emailing her, but she would not email back in a timely manner, even if she did at all. And combined with being in the dark and not having a solid foundation in what she has taught, which was, I think, chapters two, one through two in like four to five weeks, she gives us an assignment. Now, this assignment that she gives, she says, is something just to see where we're at. So basically an ungraded assignment by the way she worded it. However, at the end of our assignment, once we turn it in, she calls it an opportunity for success. Which basically means, I just gave y'all a test. <laughs> now, a lot of people in my class were very, very upset due to the fact that because they did not ha were not aware of this and were under the notion that it was actually a test, a graded assignment, many people's grades drop from A's to B's, B's to C's, D's to F's, whatever, so on and so forth. I did pretty good on it. I got a B on it. But again, people were annoyed by the fact that she did that. So many people complained as a result and she talked to us next time we were in class and you know, and she apologized, you know, she was like, that's my fault, whatever, boom. And so we moved on to our next chapter, chapter three. However, the side tracking and not assigning readings at all, combined with not having a syllabus, boy oh boy, that, it was just a mess. Because again, we were stuck on this chapter for a long time and in my opinion this chapter wasn't even that hard we just stayed on this specific topic for weeks upon weeks upon weeks upon weeks and didn't really move on until she assigned another opportunity for success and this opportunity for success was to combine chapters one two and three and she said she would give us back our first one because chapters one and two were going to be on the test boom we are expecting that however she never gives it to us she never did in time for the test and many people tried emailing her didn't email in time or maybe she didn't even email at all which sucks because like come on i did i mean i did good on this this second test in chapters one two three but i was also annoyed that she couldn't keep her word and didn't give us the necessary tools for other people in the class to thrive to be able to learn to be able to succeed on this opportunity for success because how are you gonna give somebody an opportunity for success and not give them the tools to succeed move back to the original topic. Boom, a lot of people were annoyed, whatever. So with the end of the semester coming up, man, it, we were about like 14, 15 weeks into it. And let me just say, we only had three grades in the grade book. Three, which is redonkulous for being 15 weeks into the class. Let me get a swig of this water real quick because that's ridiculous. My gosh, that is ridiculous. Because 15 weeks in the class, you only got three grades. There has to be some type of academic uh, warning, no notice, something to the teacher that like, yo, you have to have more grades in. It's the 15th week, you only have three grades in. And we did little assignments leading up to this, but she never put them in the gradebook. And she never did up until this point when I'm recording this video. She never put those grades in the gradebook, which sucks because we did like some pretty cool assignments, but she never did them. So with only three grades in the gradebook, she assigns us a project. And what's funny about this project is the topic she assigns us for this project, because we're all assigned different topics for the project, are the topics or lessons she was supposed to teach during the semester, during our classes. Mind blown, right? Mind blown. And with this project, we're supposed to make a PowerPoint presentation and write a paper. So I present the project and the project is due a week before the exam. So we're all like wondering, what is our final exam gonna be on if you only taught us three chapters? She tells us at the end of our exams or at the end of our project, she says, I hope you guys are paying attention to the projects because who the people who presented today, their topics will be on your final exam. 
it's an evil world we live in. So, um, the people who did do the presentations, their topics covered, I think, about 15, 16, 14, 15, 16, 17 chapters. 15 chapters worth of content. And the final exam is within, within a week. So, you, so, I was thinking to myself, you mean to tell me you want me to learn 15 to 17, 18, whatever, how many chapters in one week? Like, that's ridiculous. That is, that is utterly, that is, that is, ah, that is, that is, that is grimy activity. So, the day of the final exam comes, and we're all, we're all scared. We're all looking around at each other like, what is going on? What are we about to do? Oh, we're scared. But when I tell you the most anticlimactic turn of events happened, she gave us the same exact test that we took earlier in the semester. Chapters one through three test. Chapter one through three test. The only, the, the same exact questions, same order, same format, same everything. The only thing that was changed was the title from chapters one through three test to final exam. That was the only thing that changed. That was the only thing she changed throughout the entire test. So basically, she wasted all of our times, everybody's time, her own time included. Made us study all those PowerPoints. We didn't even need the PowerPoints. Because guess what? None of the stuff on those PowerPoints was actually on the final exam. I knew it was fake. I knew it. I knew. And crazy thing is, we find out that all of the assignments, all, every single one of the assignments have the same weight, which means a, a test holds the same weight as a mere homework grade. I was sick to my stomach. I was like, are you serious right now? Are you serious? I, I was really like, come on, dog. Come on. Like that was a whole, that class was a waste of time. It made the whole, a majority of the class stressed. I mean, I was stressed a little bit at times, but I wasn't stressed to the degree that some people were in that class. And I was like, that's, it's, it's. It's grimy activity by that teacher. That teacher was grimy. That was grimy activity. So I guess the moral of the story is, I mean, make sure the teacher just stays on track. You know what I'm saying? They stick to their lesson plan, but also make sure the teacher does not call a test an opportunity for success. So with that being said, God bless. Peace out. 100. Ha ha. Yes, sir.